When we first found out that we were going to be moving to moving to remote learning or possibly moving to remote learning, I started making lists of supplies the kids could take home so that we could make science hands-on at home. Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be demoing a lab for you on temperature and solubility. I recorded the video in my house um, and it was definitely more than one take. It was trial and error process. Let's start with a prediction. How do you think temperature affects how quickly a solute will dissolve? My name is Kendall Erickson. I teach sixth grade science for both Stewart Hall and Convent Elementary. All right, let's go ahead and get our experiment started. So the materials that we're going to need are our two Alka-Seltzer tablets. And there's two tablets in this little package right here. Hey everybody, my name is Emerson and today we'll be doing a temperature and solubility experiment. In this experiment, you will be measuring how long it takes for your Alka-Seltzer tablet to completely dissolve in cold water. I have my thermometer, so I'm just going to quickly put it in and we're going to wait a bit for it. <laughs> okay, my dad's behind the camera, but... Six degrees Celsius. Uh, that's pretty cold. Now, since we know the temperature, I have to write a prediction. So, I think that... I predict that the tablet will take a minute and 10 seconds to um, dissolve. Um, on three, we're gonna drop it in. Ready? One, two, three, go. We hit the 45 second mark. Still dissolving. Okay. It finished dissolving and the time was three minutes and 35 seconds. So let's write that down. Now we have our warm water and we have our tablet and thermometer. We're gonna measure and record how much it is in Celsius. So I got my trusty thermometer. 143 degrees Fahrenheit and 62 degrees Celsius. Set. That took about 20 seconds, and my prediction was 15 seconds. Why do we see this tablet dissolve so much faster in hot water than with cold water? Think about what those molecules are doing at different temperatures. So now I have finished writing my summary, um, and it's time to turn it in. Okay, um, that's it. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my dog who is here during the, some of the video.